Greetings. We, are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. Hey I may not be as old as dirt, but there's some dust out there that I could give a good run for the money. And with age, comes wisdom. I've been around the block a few times, and learned a few lessons along the way, most, the hard way. So let me give you just one tiny piece of advice. I know, I know, offering unsolicited advice to the young generation, is like offering them leprosy. But it's because I care, and I would hate to see anyone waste as much of their life, as I did. So here goes. The key to your success in life is. He who dies with the most toys, wins. Woohoo. If you can just embrace that ethereal concept, it will change your life forever. He who dies with the most toys, wins. Obviously, on the surface, that's a bunch of bull crap. But upon closer examination, it is actually quite true, even revolutionary. He who dies with the most toys, wins. It all comes down to your definition, of toys. In the secular world, a toy is a barely useful object, that is used as a status symbol. That could be a piece of jewelry, a car, an article of clothing, an electronic device, or even an oversized house. But when I say, he who dies with the most toys wins, the toys I am referring to, are verbs, not nouns. So to use that in a sentence, I was toying with the idea of going to church. In that context, to be toying with an idea, means to ponder, to consider, to deliberate, simply, to think. Nobody ever wakes up in the morning and says, let's solve the meaning of life. Trying to figure out the meaning of life, is usually just a fleeting thought for most people. They just toy with the idea. But like an old broken Barbie doll, or a busted up old matchbox car, the idea gets tossed out, like an old toy. So my advice is to pursue the quest. Don't just toy around with the idea, make finding out the meaning of life, your magnificent obsession. You are here, for a reason. Why waste your life pursuing material wealth, rather than fulfilling your true destiny? Trust me, acquiring material possessions, is no one's true destiny, yet that is the obsession of most people. Gotta get that new car, or new job, or new house. Hey there's nothing wrong with working hard, to put food on the table. But we work to live, not live to work. There's so much more to life than a fancy car, or a five bedroom house. Figure out your family's minimum material requirements, and be content with that. If you ask your kids if they would rather have more time with you, in a smaller house, they'll take you over the bigger house, anytime. If not, it's time for some new kids. Peace be unto you and your house. What shall it profit a man, if he gains the whole world, but loses his own soul? Toy around with that idea my friend. But don't just toy around with the idea, make finding out your place in life, your magnificent obsession. Maybe you could start, with a spiritual garage sale. Sell the trinkets, and start your treasure hunt, for the true pearl, of great price.